Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me today. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so so you get notifications of when I upload new material. Oh, and don't forget to click on the bell so that way you do get the notifications. If you haven't already checked out the description, make sure you do so because there's a half off code for my monthly online classes as well as a way to get an absolutely free class. Yay! So today we're going to be working on combining multiple shimmies and working them into a very mini combination. So the first shimmy that we want to go over is our shoulder shimmy. So we're going to punch back and forth within the timing of the music with just our shoulders controlling our hands and not pushing back and forth like this, right? So you're going to start off with your shoulder shimmy. Make sure it's kind of subdued, laid back, super chill. If you're super vigorous with it, it's going to be harder to do the combination later. Okay, so we're going to go into that lovely shoulder shimmy. Make sure your pelvic floor is engaged, right? Your posture is nice and lifted. I'm keeping my hands in place here. I'm not punching back and forth. And my shoulders are pushed down or relax down so that way they don't look like this, right? So they're nice and even. So this is our lovely shoulder shimmy. We're gonna take it to the left. Here we go. And one, two, three, four to the right. One, two, three, four to the left. And one, two, three, four to the right. And one, two, three, Four to the left and one, two, three. One more time to the side, one, two, three, and four. Fantastic. Y'all know I love knee shimmy. So of course we're going to put it in. So we have our knee shimmy, which is just essentially running back and forth with the knees bending and straightening, right? And you're gonna make sure that your posture is over your arch and your heels for this one. So that way you're not leaning forward in this particular uh, shimmy, okay? So have your weight laid back on your arch and over your heels, and you're gonna run back and forth, keeping the heels on the ground. I like doing this, kinda feels nice. <laughs> okay, you're gonna keep that shimmy going. It's also gonna be not as intense as we sometimes wanna make it, right? So we wanna make sure that it's controlled and that we can sustain it. This is super important. So if you need to go at half tempo here, then please do so. Because what we wanna do is sustain the movement over the combination and not feel like you're like this and like popping knees and stuff like that because it's just too fast for where you're at right now. And it's totally okay. You can work your way back up to a higher tempo. No problem at all. So you're gonna keep it here if you need to. Whatever helps you sustain and practice and honor where you're at in your technique. Okay, same with the shoulders, back to shoulders. In four, three, two, one, one, and two, and one, and two. So if you're here, and this allows you to control your hands, keep your posture, not feel stiff, not hurt your shoulders and your neck, then this is where you wanna be versus here, okay? Four, three, two, knee shimmy, and one and two, and one and two, and yes. So this is gonna be at a slower tempo. If you need to go slower than this, it'll look like that. Where it's just one, two, one, two, one, two, then we double time it up, and one and two, 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 and one and two. Yes, and then if you can go faster, but still keeping it semi-ing, like low key, not crazy intense, right? Just keeping it here, that's where we want it to be, okay? So we have our lovely knee shimmy and our shoulder shimmy, yay! So the next one that we're gonna incorporate today is our hip shimmy. I love hip shimmy. It's beautiful, it's grounded, it's heavy, it's big, it's juicy, it's delicious, I love it. So you're gonna sit into your heels just like we've had before. And if you need help with this, I believe I've already done the hip shimmy technique YouTube video, so you can search my channel for that, right? And the link will be in the description below. So I'm gonna drop my hips, causing my hips to now come up and down for the hip shimmy. 
right? And you can see I'm more in a demi plie versus up here. I really wanna be driving and motivating this movement from my hips. Keep the shoulders nice and relaxed, posture upright. There's no accent or emphasis in any particular way on the hip shimmy, it's just bouncing back and forth. Go to knee shimmy. You're gonna go upright and then go into motivating from your knees Then shoulder shimmy for three, two, one. Yay! Now, you might be wondering, what are we gonna do to connect all of this, right? Besides just review it all. Back to knee shimmy. Well, what we're gonna do is we are gonna connect these movements, hip shimmy, three, two, one, with an undulation. What? So you're gonna go back and forth between the shimmies using undulations because this is a connecting piece between the lower body and the upper body, right? So the first connection that we're gonna have is between our shoulders and our knee shimmy. So what you're gonna do is as you shoulder shimmy, you're gonna start to generate your undulation, come down, and as soon as it gets to this part of the body where it starts to be affected by the knee shimmy, you transfer that energy into a knee shimmy and you stop the shoulder shimmy, okay? So I'll show you how it looks. One and two and three and four and undulate down and one, okay? So we're looking for fluidity. We're looking for a continuity between the movements, transitioning really cleanly into them, okay? So again, one and two and three and four, lift and down and hips or knees, right? Knee shimmy, yes. Now, what do we do? How do we get back up? We're gonna do a reverse undulation. Yeah, so reverse, as a reminder, you tuck and roll through. Tuck, roll through. Tuck, roll through. Tuck, roll through. And it's a sequential movement, just like a regular undulation top to bottom, right? One, then the next. One, then the next. One, then the next. One, then the next. So it's always, like this chasing, this snake-like motion of your spine and your vertebrae, right? Good. Keep that rotation going. Four, three, two, all the way up into the shoulders, tuck, roll up. Yes, yeah, so when you roll up, you're gonna involve your chest. Okay, so now we're back at shoulder shimmy. So we're gonna have one and two and three and four. Lift, come down into knees. Two, three, four, tuck. Roll up and one, two, three, four, lift and roll down and one, two, three, four, tuck. Roll up, yes, so now you can see where we're going with this, right? Shoulders, two, three, four, lift and down. And here, two, three, four, tuck, roll up. And one, two, three, four, lift, roll down and one, two, three, four, tuck, roll up, boom. Yes. So now what are we gonna do with hip shimmy? Well, we're just gonna alternate it, right? So instead of coming down into your knee shimmy, you're gonna come down into your hip shimmy. Four, three, two, one. Shoulders two, three, four, lift, roll down and sit. So you're gonna end up with your undulation lower than where you just were, okay? So now the hips are coming up and down. You'll notice I'm slightly sitting into my heels. Four. Three, two, roll it up and one, two, three, four, five, six, undulate down in hips. Two, three, four, five, six, roll it up and one, two, three, four, five, six, roll it down and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, roll it up. Yes. Now down to me, shimmy. One, two, three, four, tuck, roll it up. Five, six, seven, and hip shimmy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, roll it up. One, two, three, four, lift, roll down. Knee, two, three, roll it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, roll it down, and hips. Two, three, roll it up. 
Yes. Okay, so do you start to see how you can have this continuous movement and play back and forth between your shoulder shimmies and then lower body shimmies? So you can also do something different like twist shimmies, right? How about that look? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and. Yeah, you can totally do it, right? So it's just practicing what kind of shimmy you want to lead into another shimmy and then what is the transitioning move between the two, right? That's essentially what you want to really discover when you're playing around with shimmies. So let's start from our hip shimmy coming up into the shoulders and then down into a knee shimmy, okay? So every time we come back up and then come back down, we're gonna change it. So we're gonna start with the hip, up to the shoulders, down to the knee, up to the shoulders, down to the hip, up to the shoulders, down to the knee. Four, three, two, hip shimmy, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, down to the knee shimmy, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hip. Five, six, seven, roll it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, roll it down to the knees. Three, four, five, six, seven, roll it up. Shoulders. Yes. Down to the hips and here we go. Lift, roll down. Boom, 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 and again. Three, two, roll it up. Last one. Roll it down to the knee shimmy, here we go. Roll. Yes. What would be fun is if you also took it to the side. So remember how we switched sides and we were here? You can either do a double knee shimmy or you could do just a single knee shimmy. Oh, how would that be? Nice challenge, I believe, right? So you're more than welcome to change the dynamic of how you're gonna use the knee shimmy coming into the, sh the knee shimmy coming into the shoulder shimmy <laughs> and all of that good stuff, right? So practice shoulder shimmy. And you can see why uh, we want it more subdued because if you're going like this, it's gonna get all crazy and it takes away from the movement. It doesn't complement it at that point. So we always wanna be complimenting our dance, right? So you're gonna take your shoulder shimmies, your knee shimmies and your hip shimmies, and you're gonna make sure that you're drilling the technique behind it first before you work your way into combining them, as well as practicing your technique for your undulations involving the chest and your reverse undulations. And then once you have those where you're feeling pretty comfortable, as well as pretty, feeling pretty in control of your movement, then you can start to allow all this beautiful movement to come through, right? And then you roll it up only to roll it back down. And you can go faster than the tempo that we did as well. Have fun with this, shimmy it up like crazy, and then change it into one knee shimmy, one hip shimmy, one-sided hip shimmies, maybe one shoulder. Oh, the possibilities are endless, yay. All right, have a great time with it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you love today's content. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you get all the latest and greatest about the rock sharky world. Woo!